Right, everyone. So, we're going to do 45 seconds of work today with 15 seconds of rest. Now, it might sound a bit dangerous, but the exercise is going to be a little bit easier in terms of we're not doing anything that's going to involve, you know, jumping, springing, anything like that. We're doing four rounds of this bad boy. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five exercises, good. And we're doing four rounds of bad boy. That's all set up. 20 minutes, everyone, and then we're done. Right, let's get warmed up. Let's go through it. So let's start with our lunges. So go reverse lunges, step back, we're going to 30 seconds. I feel a bit weird training my own today. Good, and then we go for some jog on the spot. So remember, on the jog on the spot, you can march on the spot if you wish to, it could be your choice. I just realised I had my watch on, and I feel a bit, it feels really weird. It feels a bit alien on my watch on all the time. So, that's a little bit different. I've got all this timeline for it though. Right, are you ready? We're going to start the mat, we're going to do our walkouts. So we're legs straight, walk, hands out. And there we go. Last one. Forwards, take the bum kick and split those heels up. Perfect, and then we go back to reverse lunges. So, chest upright. So let's step back. There we are. Here we jump on the spot. Remember, it's all about getting you warmed up, getting your heart rate up, getting you moving, getting you grooving. I'm telling you now, 20 minutes, right, of work. That's all I'm asking for. Once you've done that, you're done for the day. As long as you get your steps in. You need days when you feel a bit stiff and a bit achy. That's one of those days for me today. My legs feel a bit heavy. Did a big session yesterday. So, it's going to take me a round or two to get into it, but I guarantee you, I can't not do it because I'm also on the camera. But once you get in the flow, it all becomes worthwhile at the end. You have a real sense of achievement, and the rest of your day is better. If you skip the session or you give up, you'll be peed off the rest of the day. Right, good bone kickers. I've got a warm up complete then, and I'll take you through the exercises. Good, right, now we're all warmed up. We're going to do 45 seconds on. With a 15 second rest period, I'm going to open up a window, get some fresh air in there. So your first exercise what we did in the warm up, reverse lunges. Nice and simple, literally 45 seconds of reverse lunges. These ones are good because they're not too bad on your knees, so if you've got suffering from a bit of an knee issue, they're great. Your second exercise is then just marching or it's sprinting on the spot. So you're going to sprint on the spot, nice and fast. 
The third exercise, I need my breath back, is T rotation. So you hold that plank position, 45 seconds, and you're gonna just rotate up and rotate up. Now, if you want to take it a level further, which you're welcome to, you do your press up and then you rotate up and repeat. The press up can be done on your knees or on your feet, complete your choice. The third one we're gonna do is the old faithful, the squat. So remember, like that, toes up with slightly, and we're gonna drop down. Now, if you want to squat jump, be my guest. It's completely your choice. Flip your kicks at the end, which is where you put your hands on your behind, like so, and you get up and down. Now, what I would say with this one, that is a great ab exercise, it burns the abs. If you feel your lower back pulling up, your neck hurts from doing it, do not do it, do a sit up instead, okay? I cannot stress that enough. If you feel your back arching, you can't engage your core enough because you're getting tired, just go for sit ups, all right? Right then everyone, we're gonna get started. So, in 10 seconds, our first exercise is our reverse lunges, 45 seconds. Nice and simple. Let's go. The exercises don't have to be as physically demanding because the time we're working for has gone up. So you need to make sure that you're just constantly just going through the motions. Get in that little zone. Get some music on, drown me out in the background, that's absolutely fine. Just join me for this workout. And I guarantee you today will be a better day. So remember our next exercise is going to be our high knee running. Literally sprint as fast as you can. Get that heart rate up. Three, two, one, 15 seconds rest, right. Little march on the spot. We're not dawdling, okay? We're full on sprinting 45. Three, two, one. let's go. rotations or you go the press up in if you want to if you want to it's not compulsory it's optional tight and engaged. Last one. Oh, we go, right. Keep marching. Next exercise is squats. If your knees are hurting, just do heel flips instead. What we did in the warm-up. Go. Now you can jump and that will make it harder. But I'm definitely on the jumping mood today. Halfway there. To make this harder, if you've got dumbbells at home, you can hold on to them up here, hold like this, down by your side. Three, two, 
right, march in. We're doing our flutter kicks. Remember, 45 seconds is a long time. So if you feel the lower back arching, then just stop. Do the sit-ups, do a plank instead. Let's go on the floor, hands on bum. Let's go. Keep the legs straight. Point the toes down. You want a nice 30 second rest after this? You can grab a drink. Double the rest time. And that'll be one round complete. Round two. I probably say for this one, the high knee running got me working most. Really get a load into that high knee running, really perfect into it. Gets the heart rate up, gets the sweat on. You feel so much better for it. Right, one. Reverse lunges. Rotation is your choice. Let's go. Squats we're going for, and then it's flicker kicks. And that'll be completed two rounds. Two more bad boys left after this. And the mountain analogy, you work up to mountain. Three, right. Two, one, go. Let's go. Remember that mountain analogy. So I always say you're working up the mountain. When you reach halfway point, you're going down the mountain. Everything is so much better. It feels easier mentally. Halfway there. So. Two, one, 
marching, and then we do our flip kicks. Now, so remember every exercise we do, we've done it halfway, it's only going to get easier. Get that in your head, I'm telling you now, you'll get through the workout easier. Don't keep thinking it's hard, it's not hard. The workout's easy, you're making it hard. Right, ready to go? Two, one, and let's go. Halfway guys and girls. Come to a high green brothers now. One, right. Keep the marks on the spot. High green brothers. Get the arms going. Let's go. the luck. Right, flip a kick. Keep some moving. You're going to move and you're going to groove. Moving and grooving and dancing to the music. Let's go. Remember, can you see my legs don't touch the floor? But they also aren't super high either. Like that in-between phase. So up and down. Then we've got one more round left, point those toes.
seconds. Keep pushing through. Keep those legs straight. Good stuff. Right. Oh, I've got the push-ups. Schoolboy. We're going to put push-ups in. My fault. Went straight behind me running. Squats. Three, two, one. Push-ups. Sorry. Either team rotations or push-ups. My mind completely forgot these. I apologise. If you've done it the right way, great stuff. Just ignore me. Hey, right, we're only human. Follow the business topic. It felt too easy. Come on, put the more into it. It's your last round. Press up to the T rotations after this. Last ten. Squats.
flicker kicks to finish with. Keep marching. Keep moving that body. Your last one, and your day is done. Your day's only to be given now. Right. Let's go. Your day's only just starting. You're probably all back to work now, or the majority of you are back to work. There is no excuse why you can't finish work at the morning. Most people are going to work half eight, nine o'clock. This still gives you time to have a quick shower, have a coffee, and shoot straight off. There really is no excuse. Unless you work early, mega early that is, then there is an excuse. Then you can always tune in and do this whenever. Right, you've got 10 more seconds left. Up and down. There you have it. There you go. That was the, um, the hip workout. Woo. I definitely need that. Right, let's take line down. Good sweat on. Let's go for the fine stretch. Sides. Amazing thing about working out is it's, it's mental resilience. It's setting the alarm a little bit earlier to get your ass out of bed. Get a five stretch. Let's do a workout or to do something you really don't want to do. And the people that do it, is the difference between people that get in shape and people that don't get in shape. I'm not saying if you work out later, can't get in shape, but I really the real, real drive for someone who gets up in the morning and does a morning workout. It shows a real commitment. But remember, the day is only just beginning. And what are you gonna do different today than you did last month, last week? Get yourself one of those positive habits. A simple one that's completely free, don't cost you any money at all, is doing steps. If fat loss is your goal, you need to look at increasing your step count every single day, doing more steps, moving more. Whether you, a simple term to do it is, you work in a big office block and you literally walk up the stairs, you walk around rather than get the lift or the escalators, okay? Like straight. If you drive to work, could you park somewhere a bit further away and then walk the extra bit in? Could you have a walk at lunch break? Could you have a little break every couple of hours and go for a five, 10 minute walk? Outside, back into work again, ask your boss, if you're the boss, then definitely you can do it. I'm telling you now, you can't sit at a desk for eight hours and be 100% productive. It's impossible. It's never been done before. Less time on social media, less time on Facebook. Uh, let's again. If you've got work calls or your work emails or work texts, catch up on, could you do those while you're walking? Get yourself some AirPods. Make an absolute game changer. Change legs. And then we stand up. Taking the old chest stretch, chest the roomy. And then take a little back stretch. Woo. And then when you're ready, take a nice big deep breath in, we're gonna reach up. Nice big deep breath out. Nice big deep breath in. Nice big deep breath out. Last one. And nice big deep breath out. Give yourself a round of applause. Hope you enjoyed that workout. It was a good one. It was a sweaty one. And it is now done.